I was on a breakfast club last week and I made some noise about Marcellus Wiley. I only brought it, I only addressed it because it was asked to me by Charlemagne the God. DJ Envy and Charlemagne the God were interviewing me and they saw some stuff about Marcellus Wiley coming at me and he said something um, along those lines about <laughs> me being scared of the intelligence. I won't even say the man's name anymore, my former colleague, because every time I mention his name, folks lie. They create headlines, they change shit, and they make stuff up. And I'm tired of going through all of that. I've stated my position. I'm not a liar. Look at my book, Straight Shooter, a memoir of second chances and first takes. It's all in there. It's all there. Just go look. But I wanted to reiterate what I said about Marcellus Wiley. Because ain't nobody scared. I say what I want to say. What I do want to say is this. A couple of things. The individual who he felt the need to come to the protection of. That's his best friend. So guess what, Marcellus Wiley? I wish I had a friend like you. Actually, I'm lying because I already have friends like you. I've got a bunch of friends that will come to my aid just like you came to the aid of our former colleague. Who, by the way, is informing me he'll always be a colleague because he'll be back in the business doing his thing. But that's neither be here nor there. My only disappointment in Marcellus Wiley was what he said. To be in the year 2023 and to accuse a black man of being scared of the intelligence of another black man is just one of the saddest things you could possibly do. I'm not mad. I'm not hurt. It was disappointing to hear. But for all of y'all looking for some kind of shade or whatever, we ain't going to be a hypocrite. I've always had love for Marcellus Wiley. There was never, ever, ever a single day when that brother was not kind to me, that he was not respectful to me, that he was not decent to me. And just because I disagree with what he said doesn't mean that I'm going to clap back at him and offend him. I got mad love for all of my colleagues. Marcellus Wiley was one of those people. I'm sorry he's gone from ESPN. I'm sorry he's gone from FS1. I hope whatever it is that he's doing, and I'm assuming it's something more than just his podcast because the brother's bright as hell. I wish him nothing but the best. If I saw him, the only thing that I would say to him is, bro, really? That's what we doing now? A black man is scared of the intelligence of a black, of a white dude? Really? In the year 2023, we going to say something like that? Because I can assure you, I ain't scared of nobody. Not when it comes to intellect. You know why I'm not scared? Because either I'm just as smart, if not smarter, or I learn from their intelligence and it makes me more intelligent. So I'm always winning. I'm always winning. Now, there's a lot of people out there that want me to address other names. There's one particular person who will remain nameless. And I will not deny it. I think he's a fat, no good bastard who I despise to the core. But it doesn't mean that I wish him harm. It just means I know what he is. That is not Marcellus Wiley I'm talking about. It ain't hard to figure out who the hell I'm talking about. But even then, I wish him no harm. Even though he has made a career out of maligning and ridiculing and trying to wish others the worst. I'm where I'm at. That particular individual is where he's at. 
And I'll leave it at that. And no, I'm not talking about Marcellus Wally again. No, I'm not talking about my former colleague on first take. No, I'm not talking about them. They ain't fat bastards. Who's, who's, who, who are seeds of the devil. Wishing nothing but black folks home. But I'll leave that for another day for when the time is right. In the end, we all have to be strong. We all have to be mindful of the fact that challenges come our way. Adversity is inevitable. Roadblocks are as well. It ain't about getting knocked down. It's are you going to get the hell back up? We want to see it from our athletes. We want to see it from all of us. That's what it's all about. And that's what I'm here to help provide on the Stephen A. Smith show to the best of my ability. I might not be qualified to do that in a lot of people's eyes. To others, I might be. All I hope is to help where I can. Sometimes it's going to be being as real and as authentic as I possibly feel I need to be. Other times, it's touching on subjects with a heightened level of sensitivity, like I choose to do today. Sometimes that approach is more necessary than others. I hope you can appreciate that. I know I have in the past. Welcome back to the Stephen A. Smith Show. And just for clarification purposes, I was not talking about Dan Levitard. First of all, he's my buddy. 